Okay. It is... I don't know where the clock is. It is... 4.49 in the morning. Friday. And we are on our way to Dallas. To... To do what? To finally get the batteries. Finally get the batteries. Um, after some research, Charlie found a place in Dallas we could get our lithium ion batteries which works a lot better than sending a lot of money over the internet to a company that we don't know so this will work um, this company they're actually part of the X Prize so that was kind of cool um, so we got about a five a little over five hour trip ahead of us as we're off to finally get our batteries after all this time of saving Is that the address right there? Yes. 1555. It's right there on that big blue thing. See that address right there? This is kind of dropping away. Hello, everyone. Well, today is Saturday. Um, June... What is today? June 19th. And as you can see right here, here's our batteries. It's um, six strands of eight. It's 156 volt. They're are they Thunder Sky? Yes. They're Thunder Sky. Lithium ion. Lithium ion Thunder Sky. Now this is probably the most the I'm sorry the least climatic video out there about people finally getting their batteries. <laughs> most of them are very enthusiastic and um, all excited to see them for the first time and open the box. Ours didn't turn out that way. We uh, planned on making a video of our trip. We had to go to Dallas to get them, and try as we might, we could not muster enthusiasm at 4.45 in the morning, which is when we hit the road. We were just tired and had a long drive there and then back. I did get to see my sister for a couple hours, so that was kind of cool. So there really wasn't any video, and the place we bought them from, they were preparing for their trip to Michigan. EV Laboratories to be part of the X Prize, and I wasn't comfortable. I didn't even want to ask them if it was okay for me to videotape because they had their car and everything out. So I just, I just didn't feel comfortable even asking if we could videotape anything. Uh, so we got our batteries, yay! Um, now we've got to take all this out to try to figure out where to put the batteries, and we're going to end up redoing all this probably the positioning of all the internal components. Um, and I guess that's it. So we're going to start working on that. It's just a matter of getting this stuff out and then seeing how we want to position stuff for the final configuration. Anything you want to add, baby? He's yeah. still tired. Our trip was 15 hours, 10 minutes yesterday. Start to finish. So... The EVX Laboratories, by Oh, sorry, EVX Laboratories. Very nice people. Very, very smart people. Uh, very smart people. Let's see. So, now we have to go on the internet and download a bunch of um, manuals for the, some of the, the stuff we got in the charger. And, and We don't have our charger yet, but we know which one we're going to get. So I guess that's it for now. Um, nothing too exciting. Like I said, most of the acquiring the batteries is usually much more exciting than it was for us, but we're happy we got them. We're excited. We're just too tired to worry about it. So, um, that's all we got for now. started building the battery box, the box that will hold the battery to fit in the back of the car. It's going to be a very, very tight fit. This is what we've got so far. You can, you can see the angle iron. It's all welded and uh, tight, tight fit. 
Our plan is to build that, get that fitting, bring that back out, and then we know what we can work with to put the batteries in. As it pours down rain, and we wait for the rain at the Daytona 400 to stop, so we can wash that if it stops. So while we wait for that, we're working on this. Okay, so now our idea has changed, plans have changed, it's just, we can't figure out how to work at the, with the gliders on the side. So now we're thinking of building the gliders on the bottom. So we're testing it out to see if the gliders can handle the weight of the batteries, which is about 360 pounds. They're 400 weight. 400 pounds is what the weight is. Well, it moves. Coupled that with the jack, it should work. I think we've just figured out our problem. Solved our problem. Well, that problem. There is the problem of, see, when he takes something off or he sets something down, he just chunks it somewhere, and then he loses it. We can't find his gloves. So he had to use his welding gloves. And what did he do? He just took them off and <laughs> chunked them in the floor. <laughs> He'll be like, where's my welding gloves? Yeah, I told him he needed to hire a full-time assistant just to run behind him and keep up with his stuff, and he said it's that it's my job. Okay, so we know now, now know how we need to do this, unfortunately. We're going to have to weld this in here. So we're going to weld the outer spring. Structure. Yeah, weld the outer support structure into the car because we can't bolt it. We don't have enough room for bolts. It is a very tight fit. Okay, so would you go ahead and move the batteries? <laughs> Maybe. Why do you think I married you if not for the heavy lifting? <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta use those gloves, don't you? Where are your black gloves? Where's your <laughs> I didn't take them off. Let's... I'm just such a mean wife. I'm putting him to work. Oh, and there's the three stooges. Oh, we got another stooge. That's Maddie right there. Yeah. Maddie is the third stooge. She's a sweetie. Aren't you, baby girl? Hey, guys. Now I see you. No. Sorry, I can't help you move the batteries. We just uh, got back from the store. That little saw there could not handle the angle iron and it burned out, at least it's not smoking anymore. 
So we've got one a little bit with more oomph in it. That's a 14 inch. That's a 6 inch. I'm beginning to think that we're that he wanted to build the electric car just for the tools he would get to get. Because I think we've bought Home Depot out over the last couple of years, huh? Like this won't be the last one, is it? Hmm. We've bought a welder, an air compressor, that little lift thingy, among God only knows what else. <gasps> and he just broke the blade. You broke the chalk thingy? Yes. How did you break it? I just dropped it and it broke. Hmm. We also got him some earmuffs since the. Uh, earmuffs? <laughs> Not earmuffs. You instead idiot. of the plugs for his ears for the sound. Oh, they are earmuffs. See? Ear okay. Ear muff. Wow. I was right. You keep your ears warm? Yeah. So it is a muff. Every oh, man geez. needs one of these. Woo! Oh boy, back up so I can get a good picture of you. Huh? Mm, now that is hot. Sexy, let me tell you. Is that so? Who was it that said, get the DeWalt, it'll be better than the Hitachi you were going to come home with? You picked this one up, so... Oh, so if it breaks, it's my fault? No. Here should go. You're still mad because your guy got wrecked out of the Daytona race last night. It's not why I like Chip Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little whiny. He's driving aggressive. Wah! He touched me. The battery life on this thing sucks. Yeah, no. I mean, you have two hours worth of video, but you don't get ten minutes before you're out of battery. It's because you had a viewer on. What's wrong when you have the viewer on? What do you mean I have the viewer on? You know, do you find it that? Well, how else am I supposed to videotape you? Huh? Take those damn things off. Huh? <laughs> Take them off. <laughs> that is not your new excuse. <laughs> huh? I'm just going to wear these all the time. No, you're not. Huh? Eh? <laughs> uh, Got to shut her down. No battery.